All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders. A great millstone. And Shalom to all the Akim out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. <clears throat> so I'm just making this video on how, uh, like, this past weekend at camp, actually the other day, basically how we had a, a, you know, like, we always got bug outs coming up or whatever, but we had a dude come up, like a random dude, and he, all he was, he kept repeating was like, if you don't like America, just get out of here. Like, just why don't you just leave this and that. And he was just like, he was really upset. Like, he he said, like, I hate, I hate y'all. Like, you do really mad and everything just because we out there, you know, preaching the downfall of the society. And, and just because we hate the society, as the scriptures tell us to do. Because if you're in the spirit, man, how could you love this place? It's nothing but wickedness here. All right, but these people they hate us because we hate evil and they love evil, and we're in our in our spirit is contrary to theirs because they're of the world or we're not. And that just like made me meditate on how like how the um that persecution gonna be coming like when when uh, the time of Jacob's trouble come. All right, when um like when the uh, they try to start demonizing us. All right, when when it's a terrorist attack, they are gonna try to demonize us and say it's people that's part of um a hebrew israelite group this and that these people out here in the world they're gonna easily try to come get us on the street like yeah they did it this and that because they really got a lot of hate in their heart for us just because we're out there doing the right thing but that's just part of what we have to do with being in this truth all right so uh the first scripture i was going to get is john 15 and 18 if the world hates you you ye know that it hated me before it hated you and that's right, man. When when Yahweh Shai was here, everybody hated him, man. And what did he do? All he did was just tell he was speaking out speaking the word, man. And these people were their deeds was wicked, and that's why they hated him. They were mad at being their deeds being reproved, man. He's telling you you're going off just like we out there. We tell you you're going off whether you commit adultery, you lining your um, hair up, eating abominable foods, doing this and that. People don't like hearing the bad things that they're doing. So that just like they hated Yahweh Shai, they're going to hate us too. All right. That's why the scriptures say they hated um, Yahweh Shai before they hated us. All right. Because we're coming in the same spirit as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. And that's right. Because you see everybody else in the world, they never come against them. They look at us, they actually look at us worse than a, a dude who molests little kids. Uh, they look at us worse than a actual tranny. All the different wicked things that's out there in society, they look at us as the worst thing out of everything else out there. Esau is actually trying to kill you, but you look at us worse than your actual enemy. We are, like, they look at us as the enemy instead of Esau. But that's just how how demonic these people are they want you to just be on their same demonic vibration and then if you come in in righteousness they're just going to hate you you know but be continue on but because you are not of the world but i have chosen you out of the world therefore the world hated you and that's that's exactly why they're mad because we were chosen to be lord willing through the spirit of yahweh bashim yahweh shai to be part of that number to be delivered from this hell that's going to come here, man. These missiles, all right? We were chosen to go out there and condemn this place, man. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai had us set up to be the ones to go out there and proclaim the word, all right? And be the example of righteousness out here, man. Because all these other people, they don't have the spirit. All they got is the demonic spirit, man. They're, they're zombies out here following that broad path to destruction. That's what all these people out here are doing, all right? Remember the word that I said unto you that the servant is no greater than the Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. And that's why they hate us, man. Because the same people that persecuted Yahweh Shai are back on this earth right now, man. Because everything's reincarnated. So just like they hated and persecuted Yahweh Shai back then, that's why they're doing that to us now, man. All right. Because we out there coming, we're bringing forth that light, and they want to stay in the darkness because everybody else is is in darkness, man. Like the scriptures say that the world is covered in gross darkness. 
All right. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna grab that too after this other scripture. Yeah, it's first John three and thirteen. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you. And that we're not supposed to marvel at that, like how people have so much hate for us for uh for basically for no reason, just because we're co literally coming out the scriptures. It's not like we're telling you some of our like personal opinions or something like that. Our opinions and our views are based off the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So that's what our 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 um, opinions are formed around. Are right? they're based around the scriptures, man? Not on our own feelings, our our own wicked hearts. They're based around the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and that's why people hate us. But the word says not to, um, the Lord say not to marvel at that. So it shouldn't really surprise us how these people would just hate us so much. It's just what it is, what it is, just because they they're wicked. All right. Let me see if I can find that scripture. Yeah, it's um, Isaiah 60 and 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And gross darkness is um, covering these people, man. Because they're all in darkness. They don't, see, they, don't, they don't see their wicked acts. They don't see what's going on. They don't see anything. All they see is basically what, what, what they want to see. All right, they they accept everything that's pushed in the society, which is contrary to the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and they hate us because of the the light that the Lord gave us. All right, this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Yeah, and, and um, this is Isaiah 5 and 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. And that's really why they hate us, because we're out there every weekend through the spirit of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. We're out there weekly, day in and day out. All right? Condemning this place. And they got to actually, you have to actually see us. And they hate seeing us out there. All right? The ones that's, that's not basically, that's not with this word, they hate us, man. All right, and that's the majority of these people out here. It's only a small few because the scriptures speak one third that's going to be saved as well. So it's only a small few people that's going to actually appreciate us being out there, but the majority of everybody's going to hate us. And they hate us because we're out there, they out there every um every weekend, man. They're out there trying to enjoy their day, go shopping, and just continue on in their um, Babylonian lifestyle. And we're out there telling you, like, hey, you know that the market of beasts is on the way. All right, was, um, what's going on in Wisconsin? What's going on in China over here? World War Three on the way. This place is going to be hit with missiles. All you people are evil. You're going to be destroyed. All right? And the Lord is not an Edomite. It's not a so-called white man. All right? It's a so-called black man that's going to come back and destroy you people, man. And they hate us for being out there speaking these words uprightly, man. But like the um like the scripture I read in First John, we're not supposed to marvel at this these things, man. How people hate us and how they really look at us as the worst thing on the earth when it's actually a lot of things that's way worse than what we do. But that's just what it is, man. It's part of our that's just a light our, our light suffering that we go through for this um being blessed with this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai gave us, you know. The Lord will only receive that salvation and to be to uh to be able to endure in those hard times to come that are, that are on the way. Because all these people that hate us and all that's coming up against us and that will come up against us in the future, 
they're all going to be destroyed at the end of the day. But we're going to be the saved, Lord willing, if we're on that number. The spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for enduring all these things, all right, for the elect's sake and for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So with that, I'm going to just end it right there and give all praises again to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders and Shalom to all the Akim out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom. <laughs>